hello guys welcome to our channel if not miss on any of our updates click the subscribe button uh, visit our website techsupport.ducis.com for more faqs and tutorial videos in today's video i'll show you how to install a virtual box and also run an ubuntu operating system on it in windows 10 we will start off by opening a browser I'll open Firefox and type download virtual virtual box. This opens up the various uh, links in which you can download the, the virtual box. We will head over to downloads Oracle VM virtual box and open that link this opens up its official sites where we get to see the various options we'll click on downloads and then click on windows host which pops up a download download box file so we get to save the file from here for, for you to run the ubuntu operating system on a virtual machine you will need to download its iso file so we'll head over to chrome and type ubuntu iso Here we will click on the first file. Where we get to see the Ubuntu desktop versions that are there. There are only to the 20.04 and the 21.04. But since I need the 20.04, I'll download that. This prompts you to download the file. Here you get to, do, to to select the folder that you want the file to go to. For me, I'll put it in download. But I had already downloaded it, so uh, I won't save it again. As for you, you'll need to save it because you don't have it. As for me, I already have it there. So you'll save. Here we'll start by installing the virtual box. We'll double click to run it. And follow the steps. We'll click next 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 here you can uncheck the first and the last two if you want to or you can just leave them as they are you click next yes then install it's gonna start the installation process and after it's done you'll have your virtual machine up and running You'll click on install when it brings up this pop-up.
then you will finally click finish here is where we will install the ubuntu iso we'll go to new then we'll put our name the ubuntu version 20.04 the type and the version it automatically generates when you put the name As you can see our version is 2020.04 we'll click on next here i prefer dragging it uh, until where the green line ends that's what is recommended i'll click next here you'll just click next which is great We will leave it as it is here yeah, with the VDI next. We will also leave it as it is here. Yeah. Then we will, here you can decide to increase the, the size or leave it at that. As for me, I will increase it a little bit and create. So here you have your machine added the ubuntu as you can see so you'll click you'll click at it then you'll click at it then go to settings under generals you'll go to advanced where you'll change the shared clipboard and drop and drag to by directional the folder you can choose to just leave it as it is. Change to the last one and also under drag and drop you'll also put the same as the first. Then you'll go to system. Uh, under motherboard you'll just leave everything as it is. Then you'll go to processor. And here you will increase the number of CPUs according to your system. I recommend till the green where the green line ends. Then we will go to storage. And under storage you will click on empty. And here is where we will add the Ubuntu iOS. We will go to, to optical driver and click on choose a disk file here you you will go to the folder in which you, you downloaded the ubuntu ios manuals downloads and click on the file then select it and open here you can see it's added after it's added everything you can leave it as it is or you can come and change back later but for as for me i'll leave it as it is and click ok after that, you're gonna click on the Ubuntu and start it. After starting it, it brings up this. Here you'll, you'll choose the select down and choose Ubuntu 20.04 and start and click start. It starts the installation of Ubuntu operating system version 20.04. You'll give it time. We'll give it time to install all the necessary requirements for Ubuntu.
it brings up this purple screen you'll still give it time to load and it will bring up this window where we'll see try ubuntu install ubuntu and also the language you'd you'd wish to choose as for me i'll go with english and then i'll choose install ubuntu you can choose to try it if you don't want to you don't want it installed but the best option will be to install it because you you want to try working out with ubuntu as an operating system here you also get to choose the keyboard layout which you want i'll go with english us and click continue here you will just leave everything as it is and you can select the last option and click continue I'll just give it time to load. depending on how fast your machine is so here you will sell you'll you'll just leave it at erase the disk and install ubuntu this does not mean it will delete anything on your on your desktop since it's on a virtual machine so there's no need to worry because none of your documents music or files will be deleted so you'll click on install now You will click continue here. Here you will, you can select the nearest place you're at. As for me, it's Nairobi. So I'll click continue. Here you'll uh, you'll type the name that you want as your username in the in the in while logging logging into Ubuntu. I'll write my name, which is Lydia. The second option I can. I'll just delete and leave it. I'll delete the virtual and delete Lydia. Here you choose the password that you can remember while logging in. Make sure to choose a simpler password. The one that's easy to remember. I'll input my password and click continue here it will start to install the OS uh, and it, it can take some time
after the installation is finished it will tell you installation complete and you'll have to restart now just click on restart now it's only gonna restart the virtual machine and not and not your desktop not your windows after it has restarted it will bring up the ubuntu login system Here you'll press enter. You'll still give it time to load. You'll still give it time to load. After that, it will bring the Ubuntu login system. As you can see, uh, that's the username I, I, I kept. And now I'm, I will put my password. And then click enter. This will take me to Ubuntu version 20.0 desktop desktop layout you'll click skip next 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 and done Here you have your Ubuntu operating system with you. Here you can now use, whenever you want to use it, you can just open it from your virtual machine.